530 Rush, where you get all the big stories. Tonight, we begin with an update on an I-Team investigation into an East Hartford contractor. He is now charged with three felony counts of larceny, and his wife tells the I-Team she isn't surprised. Consumer investigative reporter Cassidy Williams is here to break down what we learned today. Cassidy. Well, 43-year-old Robert Othout is familiar with the criminal justice system. He spent almost four years in prison after being convicted of defrauding elderly family members. He was released on parole in September 2021. Two months later, he started a home contracting business. Work for that business has once again landed him in jail. The ceiling was had fallen down. For Richard Rudin, it started with a contract for a few thousand dollars to fix his East Hartford laundry room. It kept changing so quickly because every time he turned around, he found something different. But soon the contractor, Robert Othout, would tell him they found asbestos in the siding. Where that silver is, that's my uh, inside wall. All the siding was torn off and other projects were started, but never finished too. In total, Rudine paid Oath out more than a quarter million dollars. Just kept writing out the checks, you know, and it, it, it just turned into one big mess. It's a similar story to that of Rachel Saroy's. He kept finding things that now I don't think were actually there. Um, and charging us additional money for that. The I-Team first brought you Sorois' story in August. She and her husband paid more than $8,900 for an unfinished bathroom. At the time of our first report, Othout was in federal prison after testing positive for cocaine 10 times while on probation for taking more than $400,000 from the family members of his wife. She spoke with us from where she now lives in New York. My dad's retirement, life insurance, they, had, they, they took out loans against everything just to send him money and promising that he was going to pay it back and then some. Earlier this month, Othout was released from federal prison and served three new charges in Connecticut. Larceny in the first degree for Rudine's home, larceny in the third degree for Sir Royce's bathroom, and another third degree larceny charge for a job in Cromwell. I'm not surprised. Hate to say that, but I'm not surprised. I mean, look what he did to my family. Everyone we talk to says this should serve as a lesson that something like this can happen to anyone and you should always do as much research as possible. I'm always trying to tell my sister, you know, watch out for these scammers, watch out for these scammers. <laughs> and it happened to me. Othout is currently in jail in Hartford. He has a court appearance on Friday. Rudine says he's had several others reach out to him on Facebook saying they were a victim too. He encourages anyone who may, who may have had money taken from them to call their local police department. For the IT, Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.